Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Luana Santos versus Maria Agapova. Luana Santos, 7 and 1, 4 and 1, in the last five fights. That one loss is against Jenna Bishop, who we don't really know. You know, <laughs> like I said, 7 and 1, 24 years old, 5'6 with a 67 inch reach. In her last fight, she fought uh, Stephanie Edgar. A fight before that, she destroyed Juliana Miller. Going into the Juliana Miller fight, I thought Miller's aggression and kind of wild ability in her fight to make it like almost like a ugly, nasty fight, not to say technical or like, you know, more like a brawl, more like chaos. I thought Miller would do a lot of good work in there and the power and the striking accuracy of Santos was kind of crazy. Uh, it, it was it really, really impressed me. So, you know, and then she defeats her by TKO, finishes her. Uh, and then fight Stephanie Edgar, who I think is decent. I don't think she's great, but definitely decent. Had definitely had some good moments in the UFC, some good moments in some fights. But she's just she's looked really good in these last two fights, and she's fighting a girl in Maria Agapova who is very very inconsistent. She's two and three in her last five fights on a two fight losing streak. Has fought decent competition like Rene Kachot and Hannah Cyphers. Lost to Shana Dobson by ground and pound, which. It was a bit of a comeback. Uh, looked really good in that first round against her and then just kind of faded after that. And then beat a Sabina Mazo by Rene Kachok. Lost to Marina Mores. And then lost and then lost to a Jillian Robertson who was just, you know, submissions. The problem with this matchup is I think Agapova has fought the better of competition in the UFC. But I just think she's too much of a wild card. Too inconsistent. If she's able to fight her fight, she does well. But even if her fighting her fight in this matchup, I don't think she does all of that, all that well. So, um, and then looking back at uh, the UFC stats, what tells you some you know, striking numbers. Uh, ba -ba 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 right here. Let me make sure we can see it. No, one second. Da, 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 da. Uh, let me get out of here here right here um, and then like I said uh, so striking land strikes landed per minute 6.21 to 4.67 as you see right here for Luana Santos accuracy is 55 to 55 so pretty accurate it starts absorb per minute 3.64 to 3.82 defense 64 to 52 Here's where it's interesting. Uh, takedowns 1.6 to about about one. Uh, accuracy is 50 to 66. Defense is 66 to 47. And Agapava definitely goes for submissions. But you know, looking at it here, like in in her losses, it's just again she's so inconsistent. You know, the Jillian Robertson ones is is a hard one. Simply because Robertson is a specialist. That's what she does. Like in this one, she threw uh, significant strikes uh, four. <laughs> she landed three takedowns, went for one submission, and got it. You know, fighting uh, uh, Marina Morose, who you know threw 28 strikes, landed two takedowns, went for three submissions, finished with arm triangle. You know, and like I said, the Dobson fight's interesting because she was in control of the Dobson fight, really control. Had two takedowns, uh, sort of Dobson. You know, the Mazo fight, as you see here, one knockdown for Marina Nakapava, 93 strikes. Um, Mazo, 62. She went for one submission attempt for Maria. You know, and then she got the submission. You know, by Renee Choke. She's too chaotic. She's too inconsistent. I really like Luana Santos in this matchup. I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Uh, oh wait, did it pop up? Yes, it did. Okay. So, again, I, I like Luana Santos. I think she gets the job done, and we may have a star on our hands with Luana Santos. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.